In this video, we will create a simple function in Excel using Visual Basic. This function will convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. So let's get started. So I will first hit the developer ribbon. And if you don't have the developer ribbon, I made a video in the last video that shows how to kind of install the developer ribbon in Excel. So with that, you hit Visual Basic. Next, you right click go to insert go to module okay so now you have the module here I want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius meaning I have Fahrenheit information and I want to go and convert that information into Celsius so this is what I could do I could say function uh, we could say convert to uh, Celsius I'll just say CL parentheses we have right now is Fahrenheit so temp F temperature and Fahrenheit next we do a space we say as double close parentheses space as double next I hit enter and now I write the formula in order to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius and so what I'm gonna do is copy this part right here where it says convert to cell convert Actually, I didn't put a T, so I just kept convert. So we have to make it exactly the same. It says C-O-N-V-E-R. We have to keep it the same. Uh, to uh, cell, I put, a sp I put an equal sign, parentheses, uh, temp F, temperature at Fahrenheit, minus 32, close parentheses, times 5 over 9. So there's a formula that we already know. If we want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the formula is uh, parentheses Fahrenheit minus 32, close parentheses times 5 over 9. That's simply just a formula. Um, it says end function, so that's good. So now I will hit this symbol right here. And so let's test this one out. Um, let's say I have 212 Fahrenheit, and I want to convert that number into Celsius. So I will say equal, um, the function we created was C-O-N-V-E-R, it says it right here. This is something we made, it wasn't by default. That's the beauty of Visual Basic. This is something we made and now it's going to be applied into our Excel. So we click it. And now we say 212, 212 Fahrenheit. Hit enter and that's 100. And we know that 212 Fahrenheit is 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, we could even say 32, it should be 0, right? That's correct. And we can try another number. Um, let's just say 57. And if you want, you can go to Google and simply say 57 Fahrenheit to Celsius, and it will say the same thing. And that's all you need to do to create a simple uh, function in Visual Basic. Um, in case it was hard to see what I was writing in Visual Basic, I just recopied it here. And that's it.